Hey everybody, it's Sayhop and you're watching Play Hop, where we learn all about the world around us and the wonderful people in it. Today, we're learning about something very delicious. We're learning about s'mores, let's go! Wow! I don't know guys, I'm sorry, I think this is just something you're gonna have to work out in court, okay? Okay. Right, There's not much I can do here, but let's see what else is on the docket for today. What is this? It's a recipe. Oh my gosh, Sayhop's Magic S'mores recipe. Did you do this? Did you do this? Guilty. We've got the ingredients and the directions. We have everything we need. I love recipes. Yeah, I was thinking that maybe making some s'mores. Mm. It'd be really fun to do that. That's what I was thinking too, and it might be a good way I've to- I've got an idea. We're gonna make it. I'm glad I thought of that. <laughs> Have you ever helped a grown up in the kitchen make a recipe or anything like that? Wait a minute, that's where we need to be right now. I got this. You know that feeling when someone listens but doesn't hear you? Yeah. To the kitchen. I did it first try. I think. I think I'm getting better at this whole magic thing. But now I need the recipe. Okay. <gasps> recipe. Oh, that's not the recipe. Also, this needs water. <gasps> recipe. Oh, that's not the recipe. It is a robot, which also starts with the letter R. So we're getting closer. Okay. Third time's a charm. <gasps> recipe. Please. Ah. We did it. Okay. So maybe I'm not getting better, but like I said, practice makes progress. All right, we got the recipe. I think we should stick it right here. Fantastic. All right, let's look at our ingredient list. This is everything we need to make our magic s'mores recipe. We need two graham cracker squares. Perfect. We need one marshmallow. That's a lot more than one. And we need half of a chocolate bar. Great! We've got everything we need. And then some. So something I like to do when I'm making a recipe is read all the instructions ahead of time so I know what to expect. Let's look here. Step one, place half a chocolate bar on one graham cracker square. Step two, stick a marshmallow on the end of your skewer. A skewer? I've got one of those. Step three, roast your marshmallow over a campfire. I don't have a campfire. I think we need to change locations. All right, let's go. Perfect. And all my stuff is here. Let's keep reading the instructions. Okay, step number four, place the roasted marshmallow onto the chocolate and graham cracker. Okay, step five, use the other graham cracker to sandwich the marshmallow. And step six, enjoy. Now that we've read through all of the instructions, we have all of our ingredients. I think there's one thing left that we need. And I'd like for it to be a little bit darker because fire at night is so much more fun. Let's do it. That's better. Ah, oh, we've got the fire going. And y'all, I gotta tell you something before we even start. You should never, ever, and I mean ever, play or work or cook or do anything with fire without a grown-up present. If you see a fire and no grown-up, you go get a grown-up, okay? I'm a grown-up, so I did this fire, and that's okay, but you need a grown-up to do fire. You heard? You betcha. Okay, good. Back to the recipe. First thing we need is two graham cracker squares. Cha-ching, cha-ching. And we need half of a chocolate bar. What happens when you need half of something? You break it in half. And what is half? Two equal parts. Now I have one half of a whole chocolate bar. And our final ingredient, one marshmallow. And you know, usually marshmallows are cylindrical, like they're round, but this one is kind of shaped like a cube because it's made for s'mores, how cool. All right. Let's look at our directions. Okay, step one is to place half a chocolate bar on a graham cracker square. Got it. Next step is to stick the marshmallow on the end of your skewer. Done. Step number three, roast.
toast the marshmallow over a campfire and remember your fire safety. Oh yeah, this is my favorite part is you just get to watch it cook in real time. So the heat from the fire is transferring from the fire itself to the marshmallow. That's called heat transference, which is something you won't even learn about till sixth grade. So if you're not in sixth grade and you're learning about this now, you're ahead. <laughs> Look at you. This is heat transference. There are three types of heat transference. The first one, radiation, which is what this fire is doing. This is radiating heat onto the marshmallow. The second one, conduction, which this is metal. So it's gonna conduct heat all the way down to the bottom, which is why this plastic handle, very important. The third one is convection, and that one's a little hard to visualize. It's when heat rises and then lowers and goes in a circle around and around and around, either in a liquid or a gas. <gasps> Ooh, look how beautiful this marshmallow's getting. Ooh. Ah. This is perfect. I like them to be golden brown and crusty on the outside and gooey on the inside. No! Gotta blow it out if it catches on fire. I think we're done. Yeah. All right, let's look at our directions. Okay, step four, place the roasted marshmallow onto the chocolate and the graham cracker. Okay, done. Now, we gotta use the other graham cracker to sandwich the marshmallow. Okay, now can pull the skewer out. Look at this s'more, y'all. This, say hop magic. We followed a recipe together. All the steps with all the ingredients. And now we get to do number six. Step six, enjoy. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Hey, wait, wait, wait. If you're saying, say hop, I don't have a campfire and I can't do fire things safely, I've got you. You still need a grown up to help you, but you can make s'mores lots of ways. One way, using the microwave. Luckily, I have this all set up. See, graham cracker, chocolate, marshmallow, graham cracker. And we gotta put it in. This way is actually really fun because the marshmallow blows up. And then you just wanna set it for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's ready. Check it out, a s'more in 10 seconds. Ooey gooey wonderful. Ah, no campfire needed. Mm. Oh my God. And you can use the oven if you want. You just have to leave the tops off. You just put it on broil for about two minutes and they'll get nice and toasty. You could also use an air fryer, which, call back, it uses convection. Remember, the hot air rises to the top and then it cools down and comes to the bottom and it goes in a swirl and that's how things get cooked. Just leave the tops off just like you do with the oven and stick them in for a few minutes. It's perfect. Well, what a great day. Oh wait, do you hear that? I think it's the fun fact of the video. It's the video fun fact of the video. Today's video fun fact is way back about 100 years ago in the 1920s when s'mores were first invented by the Girl Scouts, they were actually called graham cracker sandwiches. Boring. But people loved them so much and they kept saying, can I have some more? Can I have some more? S'more, s'more, that the name stuck. It became the official name and the word s'more got added to the dictionary in the 1970s. How cool is that? There's something we missed, y'all. It says turn for magic. The magic part of the magic s'mores recipe. You could add different fruits like strawberries, apples, or you could use whatever kind of bread to sandwich it that you want. Even a croissant, ha ha ha. Finally, you don't even have to use Hershey's chocolate. If you like dark chocolate, salted caramel, even a raspberry filled Ghirardelli. Go crazy with it. And that's the magic. You can make it whatever you want. Oh, I'm stuffed. Too many of those, I get a tummy ache. But just a couple, so good. I have
had the best time with you. Thank you for joining me on this recipe adventure. I'm Say Hop, this is Play Hop. Thanks for watching.